For 40 years, NEA provides efficient, flexible, and user-friendly framework for conduct of international joint research projects. This framework is unique because it gives opportunity to the NEA member states to cooperate in resolving complex safety issues that are of utmost importance for safety of the nuclear power plants. The joint research projects are open not only for the member states of Nuclear Energy Agency, but also to third-party countries that wish to share their competence and their expertise with other partners in the project and help building consensus on safety and reliability of nuclear installations. Joint safety research projects are a really unique tool to establish common grounds on key safety issues amongst all stakeholders of the nuclear sectors involving industry, regulators, technical support organization and research organizations. At the same time, joint safety research projects are also providing a unique way to maintain and develop key research infrastructures and key competencies in the nuclear safety area. They also contribute to build technical bases for supporting the enhancement of the safety of operating reactors and uh, to assess the safety of new reactor designs, such as small modular reactors. Every joint project has its own independent legal framework, which is developed under the auspices of the OECD NEA. It is developed according to the constraints and needs of the partners with their individual boundary conditions, but there are some certain aspects that need to be regulated and these are defined by the statute of the NEA. There are certain things that will be done in the project agreement and it is the scope, objective, time duration, finances and partnerships of the project. It's basically an agreement to see how the members would like to work together. The safety operation of nuclear installation is based on a large amount of experimental data. And those data are to be generated, for example, by means of experimental joint projects. Thermal hydraulic experimental projects are very useful because they can help to develop methods for safety assessment and help to validate the computer codes that are used for the safety assessment. The data does not only need to be generated, but also preserved to be used for future use. The Quench ATF project brings together 19 organizations in nine member countries with a shared interest in the development and near-term deployment of innovative fuel concepts called the accident-tolerant fuels. The quench facility in Germany was then bound for closure and it was paramount to make the most of the available time for the shared benefit of all the member countries. They also support education and training for the next generation of nuclear experts. They contribute to the data and knowledge preservation across generations. They support our development of modeling and simulation capabilities. The post-Fukushima project are key for ensuring networking between Japanese organizations and international communities for solving issues related to the safety of decommissioning of damaged plant and also learn as much as possible from the shared analysis of the accident for the future and gained knowledge has provided advanced understanding of the accident and also supported plans for decommissioning. There are still many opportunities to develop new research projects in the new international dynamics of nuclear energy. The framework does exist. The framework has proven its effectiveness. The framework is flexible. It can be set up very easily if a set of partners are ready. The NEA environment, with all its technical committees, is ready as well to facilitate the conversation. A safe nuclear energy must maintain this questioning attitude to improve safety and performance. And whatever the competitiveness, the key fundamental issues must be discussed at the international level.